Connect with me, Lucy Longhurst. This week we spar with some legends, dance with the tweenies, check out the latest Final Fantasy and drive into the future. It's unbeatable. It's Cybernet. Welcome to another fantastic show. We begin by previewing the fantasy that just won't end as the series reaches its ninth incarnation. So get ready to enter a world of moogles and chocobos once again for Final Fantasy IX on the PlayStation. Fans of the series will immediately notice a change in style from more recent episodes. Gone are the realistic characters and high-tech environment, and in their place are cute characters in a storybook world. The change comes from the producer's wish to return to the series' roots, but don't let the whimsical style fool you. As with older Final Fantasy adventures, the cute graphics hide some highly tactical gameplay. Four party members will be able to take part in battle, and each character will be far more specialised in the skills they can learn. Abilities such as combat, magic and defensive techniques cannot be mastered by everybody and it'll be up to you to decide who's best suited to a particular situation. Influences from more recent adventures will include another bizarre card game for budding collectors and of course some of the most awesome FMV to ever grace a video game. The in-game graphics will also be some of the best to ever appear on the PlayStation with elaborate architecture and luscious scenery around every corner. Cybernet's currently plunging itself headfirst into this incredible adventure and once we've fully uncovered its delights, we'll bring you a definitive review. In the meantime, we can assure you that Squaresoft haven't lost their sparkle. Final Fantasy IX could well be the series' crowning glory. hallucinating these are the tweenies and they're heading to a pc near you these four brightly colored characters love to have fun and they want to have fun with you so let me introduce them this is bella this is milo this is fizz and this is jake TV star tweenies are very environmentally friendly and this package contains a lot of video sequences to teach you valuable environmental lessons such as not dropping litter. After all, who wants to have a picnic with loads of rubbish around? Oh no, we can't eat here. Look at all this litter. Come on. I bet that smells. <laughs> Welcome to song time. And whenever there's a tweenie around, there's music. Oh, one bigger one, donkey boo. One bigger one, donkey boo. One bigger one, donkey boo. We'll all be merry and bright. Yes, that's quite enough of that, thank you. This package also contains many creative things to make, such as a spinning top or a fearsome mask. When complete, your artistic creation can be printed and cut out. Fantastic. Hello, everyone. Well, it's time for a story. And what would a multimedia package be without a good story? Well, there are many here and they're great fun. The Tweenies is a well-presented package and the humour is a sure winner. Oh, and if you're concerned, some very kind men cleared up all that nasty rubbish. Whoa, surf's up, dude. Well, at least that's what you'd expect from a game called Surfing H3O on PlayStation 2. You get to control six cool characters in a range of various surfing competitions. The objective is to collect as many floating coloured items as possible. These boost your overall score, and if you collect them in order of blue, red and green, you'll get bonus awards. The pressure is also on to do some radical stunts. At first, they'll be impossible to achieve, and only by constant and patient practice will you accomplish any manoeuvres. Even though this could be an exciting title, it's extremely difficult to combine basic surfing with the execution of tricks. 
This will frustrate many gamers and time after time you'll just crash into the waves and end up wiping out. Surfing H3O has splendid oceanic graphics, but with only six surfing environments to complete, you'll soon finish the game, and instead of longing for more, you'll be left looking for a refund. Wipe out! Welcome to dry land now in the wonderful arena of World Championship Snooker. The most gentlemanly of sports has arrived on the PC. This title lets you compete against some of the world's greatest players, from Ronnie O'Sullivan to Stephen Hendry, and also lets you choose the location, such as the world-famous Crucible venue. One of the best features is the overhead view. This gives you an almost exact judgment of the shot approach and leaves you free to apply the striking strength. The physics of this are excellent and make you believe that you're on an actual snooker table. From the queuing of shots to the bounce of the cushion, everything is precise. Championship Snooker is one of the best titles ever, thanks to smoother graphics and realistic AI. So if you want to be a true snooker great, this is the perfect place to begin. Now here's a look at our top 10 favourite superheroes. At 10, he's got a huge chest and a tiny head. He must be a superhero. It's Captain Blasto. He's the half-vampire, half-human who's ready to challenge his evil opponents. Vampire Hunter D's at nine. At eight, he's the ultimate macho man, battling Earth's enemies armed with his amazing coil suit. It's Kurt Hectic. This fearless, muscly hunk uses his powers to hunt down baddies. Shadow Man's at number seven. He may look cute, but this blue robot hunter's one brave guy. At number six, it's Mega Man. At five, he's the earnest space ranger with the sparkling smile. He's the classic hero. It's Buzz Lightyear. They strive to create a place where mutants and humans can live in harmony. No one said being a superhero was easy. The X-Men are at four. At number three, she's the epitome of girl power. With her gymnastic kicking skills and howling war cry, it's Xena Warrior Princess. He's the rubber-clad idol who's always ready to fight crime in Gotham City. Batman's at number two. And he's our all-time favourite superhero using his arachnid powers to save the day. It's Spider-Man and he's at number one. The Emperor's New Groove is the video game from the latest Disney movie blockbuster, and it seems as though the Emperor may be in a spot of bother. Um, you don't look like the Emperor. What do you mean I don't look like the Emperor? Um, uh, uh, do this. What is this, some kind of little game you country folks like to... Ah, I can't be! Ah. Ah, my face! My beautiful, beautiful face! Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Yes, he's been turned into a llama. The arrogant ruler has been punished by an evil witch for his unkind ways. Now he must traverse many different levels on the path to self-redemption. What we have here is a simple, colourful and amusing platform title. Controlling the emperor in his llama form, you have to negotiate all sorts of obstacles and puzzles in some unusual modes of transport. The Emperor's New Groove succeeds as a game because it's just like the movie. In other words, it'll entertain all ages and cause more than a few laughs. It's a title that we'd definitely recommend. Time for our competition now, so grab a pen. This 
week's prize is a PlayStation and a copy of Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters. So get set to play the part of everyone's favourite rabbit on his quest to bring Daffy Duck back from the past. To win this prize, call our number and answer this question. What is used to hit the ball in snooker? Is it A, a racket, B, a bat, or C, a cue? If you think you know, call 09009-11333. Please dial carefully and don't forget to ask permission from the person who pays the telephone bill first. We'll put up the question and number again at the end of today's show, so get dialing and good luck. Coming up, we conjure up some spells, have a fight or two and go for a revolutionary new drive. no idea what lies ahead. We know basically nothing about the enemy. That's why we have been losing and losing. My advice, go home. From the creators of X-Files and Millennium comes a new force. The survival or extinction of life is in your hands. You ever feel like there's something out there? In space above and beyond, Sundays at 9 on Sci-Fi. He's doing well, eh, Tom? I love that spot on the balcony, don't they? A lovely bit of chicken for your tea. I said to Margaret, your curtains are looking really nice. If you told me, you got the missing out on one of Jam Jar's special deals. Well, right now, they're knocking an extra £500 off the price of all brand new Fords and Vauxhalls, so you could pick up a Ford Focus 1.6 Zutec for just £10,495. That's £1,500 off the list price. And they still deliver to your door. Look, that was easy. Log on to jamjar.com now, or call 0845 608 1133. Alan? How could you leave? We had some good times, didn't we? We've been through this. You're not my bank manager anymore. Oh, yes. The Abbey National Bank accounts. Easy peasy, never squeezy. I've kept some of your old bank statements. <laughs> Brian, please. I'll write to you. I've moved on for your charge. Abbey National, because life's complicated now. I need to sit down. I'm not feeling too well. Steve? Oh. Oh, God. Did somebody help? So what if I get a heart attack? At least it's quick. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? No respirations, no pulse. Well, you've got to die something, haven't you? You can be a uh, charging's 200. You always get a warning. It's like a yellow card, isn't it? Okay. That's the last thing I'll get. Don't be a victim of Britain's number one killer. Look after number one. The digital has always helped us to get out and about. Not always unaided, of course. It has always shown us the way. And now it can show you so much more. With the help of going places on Open, you can look up holidays, actually see where you're going, and get great value deals. Open. How very useful. Just press the button. Married under with dandruff. Fructus anti-dandruff shampoo with active fruit concentrate. Garnier Fructus. It's proven. Dandruff disappears. Not a trace of a flake from just three washes. Garnier Fructus for hair that shines with all its strength. Formulated and controlled by Laboratoire Garnier.
Monday to Saturday on Sci-Fi. Welcome back to part two of Cybernet. Time for a battle of epic proportions now as wizards, monsters and celestial beings fight for victory in a spectacular world. This is Sacrifice on the PC. Hailed as a title that blurs the lines between game genres, Sacrifice is still at heart a real-time strategy, but it's like none you've ever played before. You play the part of a wizard who wages war on behalf of one of five masterful entities. They bestow you with their powers and you more or less act as their general in battle. As long as your magic reserves are high enough, you'll be able to cast destructive spells and summon monsters to do your bidding. Your perspective mainly centers around your wizard as he travels the battlefield to vanquish his enemies. And though the result is an awesome spectacle, it also creates a slight problem. With just a tiny map to view in the corner, it's all too easy to lose track of what's happening elsewhere. But this is a small complaint considering how enjoyable the game is to play. Not only is it an original idea, but it's implemented excellently, and the resulting pyrotechnics are a wonder to behold. become a little monotonous at times, Sacrifice is nonetheless a refreshing take on a tired genre. The graphics are never short of outstanding and the sound is also excellent. So if you have to accept one sacrifice in your life, make it this one. The internet can be a brilliant place and we've shown you some amazing sites on Cybernet but be warned, they're not always great. For a laugh, we logged on to Worst of the Web to prove our point and to show you that some people will put up a page about almost anything. Take Pylon of the Month. It's devoted entirely to electricity pylons. Most people find these structures ugly, but some strange folk like them. In fact, they like them enough to catalogue them and to nominate a particularly fine-looking one as their favourite of the month. January's favourite pylon was F20 in Somerset, England, an especially fine structure in an attractive shade of lime green. Fascinating. Still awake? Well, you won't be after this. There are links on Pylon of the Month to even more boring sites, such as this guide to Ukrainian bus shelters. Apparently, some are of architectural importance and, well, just have a look for yourselves. To be fair, these bus shelters are quite impressive, but anyone who's ever been stuck in a traffic jam won't approve of the Traffic Cone Preservation Society homepage. This site lists many different types of cone and even traces the evolution of the cone through the ages. Apparently, the cone has cropped up many times in history and even in great works of art. Unbelievable. Next time you can't sleep, log on and give these sites a look. Sweet dreams. Time for something with a little more pace now, so we suggest you belt up and hold on tight as it's time for a joyride courtesy of this new racer, Vanishing Point for the Dreamcast. This is the only driving game where draw distance reaches Vanishing Point and hence the name. Basically, instead of the game engine drawing in scenery as you drive closer to it, the horizon already stretches back as far as the eye can see. This means there's no pop-up and the open road looks great. Of course, as well as dedicated single-player racing, there are other game modes for you to try out, like this, the Stunt Driver Challenge. The cars mimic their real-life counterparts faithfully, but that's nothing new and doesn't make up for oversensitive steering and precious little grip. And when you do go off the rails, expect boring nudges rather than spectacular rolls. Criticisms aside, we reckon racing fans should give Vanishing Point a go. It looks spectacular with track graphics destined to push the genre forward. The game's sense of speed is faultless. 
So please be aware of oncoming fuel tankers. Now what happens if you lose a couple of wheels and add a lot more mud? Supercross 2001 for the PlayStation, of course. This is the successor to the fairly dismal 2000 version and sees a shift to arcade style play which is definitely a good thing. There's also greater variety this time round like a freestyle arena and licensed tracks. You can ride as one of 30 real life bikers or if they don't appeal create your own speedster. If multiplayer gaming is your calling you'll be pleased to know that almost all modes are one or two player so you can have lots of macho fun seeing who can do the best star jump. The controls for Supercross have remained simple, so it shouldn't be long before you're flapping your legs in the air and power boosting down the straight. Although this isn't the best looking biking game on the market, it is very playable and really good fun. Just whatever you do, don't get too cocky. men are busy designing a brand new car. Very impressive, but soon they're going to have to put away their felt tip pens and modeling tools because computer-aided design is taking over. Computer-aided design, or CAD as it's known, gives designers the opportunity to work with three-dimensional computer models such as this, the world's largest full-color hologram. This allows engineers to view the car and its components from any angle, so parts can be tested and modified before the car has even been constructed. As well as viewing the exterior, CAD allows engineers to zoom into an engine bay and even individual parts inside the car. Safety can also be simulated, saving a lot of time, money and mess. And designers don't just work on cars using this system. The entire production line has been rendered in cyberspace to make it run as efficiently as possible. Even workers have been animated and need to be taught how to do their job. New and exciting vehicles can be brought to the roads quicker than before as CAD reduces the need for labour-intensive and expensive clay models. This technology may remove some of the hard work from the process of car design, but draftsmen and designers need more skill than ever to create stunning cars that people will want to drive. In the old process, the nature was that you had sometimes more designers working on one model. Now really you're giving each designer the opportunity to create his own model and to be very consistent then in the design. But do these concept cars ever find their way from computer screens onto the road? Well, here's your answer. This is a brand new concept car from Renault. Looking more like something from outer space than your local neighborhood, it combines cutting edge design with high tech engineering. But what's inside? Well, we'll show you. Fumbling with roadmaps and getting lost on motorways will be a thing of the past, as this vehicle contains satellite navigation systems and voice control, so you can ask your car for directions as you drive. It also features internet access and onboard entertainment, so your passengers can watch movies or play games to keep them occupied. There's also somewhere to put your drink, of course. These cars may look less dramatic stuck on your local road than in the Nevada desert, but we can't wait for their arrival. Until then, we'll have to carry on taking the bus. Welcome to the star-studded launch of Knockout Kings 2001. We went to have a look at the new PS2 title along with boxing legends Muhammad Ali and Lennox Lewis to see how it plays. And here it is. The first thing to be said is that whilst this is a next generation title, the graphics aren't as impressive as expected. Gameplay, however, is quick and smooth and the controls are easy to master. Set up a two-player match and the action is fast and furious. This is getting very Fading shot, close range. Look at this, they're going toe to toe. In the single-player mode, you can create your own boxer by buying him a pair of pants and giving him a boxing taunt. 
There's also crucial advice on the art of pugilism by a professional trainer. Then it's into the ring for your first bout. As with most sports games, there's a replay facility so you can watch your finest boxing moments from any angle. But perhaps the best feature is the ability to pick your fighter from a host of boxing legends. Knockout Kings 2001 is a very playable title, but it lacks the character and sheer fun of Ready to Rumble. So overall, pretty good, but not a knockout. Now I'm the king of the well, I guess that fight's pretty much over, and sadly so's this show. But Cybernet will be back soon, Sci-Fi fans, with more games and features from around the world. Don't forget you can always try our competition to win a console. Until next time, get dancing with Lou Vega and chums from Jungle Book Groove Party. Keep watching Cybernet. Bye. Oh, who be you? I wanna be like you. I wanna walk like you. She talk like you. She too. We can you know. see it's true. She'll be the same like me.